morning, everybody. So uh, I just got back from work. There's so many moths. I don't know if you can see them flying around behind me and stuff. They're like hitting my hands and they hit me in the face. One tried to fly down my shirt. Gross, 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 gross. Got my hair up and all this cute little, cute little thingy. Um, yeah, I, I tried it again to get the magic moth door. I really just don't think I can. I think I need like two additional hands to be able to get this. Like, you know what I mean? Like hold the phone and push the door open at the same time. And like when I did that, they all come like falling down on me and then they go all flying away. Cats love it because they go into the house too. It gives them something to chase. Um, but they fly outward, but they land on me first and they're wet and it's nasty. And like, they're just everywhere. And then one tried to go down my shirt and now I'm like, oh God, is it still in there? Is it still in there? I know it's not, but it's like, <laughs> yeah. So walking the dog, just getting home from work, walking the pupperoo. Um, it's kind of a cloudy day today. Kind of crazy. Um, I, I think it sprinkled last night. Not exactly sure. It just might be due. Um, birds are chirping. The world is turning. I don't know. I'm just mumbling at this point. Uh, having massive brain fog today. So tired. Like I, uh, so tired. So, um, sorry, the dog. Uh, yeah. So she's, uh, she was happy to see me as usual, but she was giving me a guilty dog face. So now I'm going to have to figure out what it is that she did in the house to make her feel guilty. But I don't know. Who knows? Who knows, right? Who knows? Here, I'm going to hold it like this. Because when I hold it kind of like this, I feel like I look like super old, like Kurt Cooper. Like, <laughs> but when I'm up here, I feel a little bit more like I'm smoothed out. Yeah, I don't know. I'm being weird. I'm tired. Overly tired. Like I said, total brain fog today. Uh, yeah, so we're just walking. Um, work was good. It was very, I, I've got a bunch of stuff done. No ma'am, where are we going? So I got a bunch of stuff done around the lab. Um, I got a couple things I need to get typed up, typed up and sent out, which makes me feel fantastic. Um, and then I um, was able to figure out a, a small leak that we had. Hopefully that will stabilize things a little bit in the lab. That'd be great. Great, I tell you, great. So, um, anyway, so we are, we're on day, this was night two of four, and, uh, when I'm done with the walking the dog this morning, I'm going to be going home and going to bed, like, immediately. I was going to try to work out this morning, but I'm going to skip it and go straight to bed, because I'm, like, oh, getting a headache, like, wicked headache, which means, to me, tells me that, you know, weather's changing again, again. Again, right? Again? Isn't it like, what the hell? Like, seriously? Do we have to keep doing this? Like, I don't get it. But, yeah, whatever. Um, it is what it is. I, I'd, I'd love for some rain, actually. Uh, um, help green everything up. I know it sounds weird. Like, you're probably looking behind me going, but there are green trees. But do you see the grass? Do you see how bad the grass looks? I mean, it's just, like, last year at this time, we'd had plenty of rain and sunshine. And it was fantastic. And it was like... Yeah, it was so great. Um, everything was gorgeous and green and growing and just a stunning, stunning spring. This year it's been a little bit more like, are we gonna get rain? Are things ever gonna green up? Like, you know what I mean? Oh, Mr. Mouth is out here. So there's a, a neighborhood kitty cat. Hi, Mr. Mouthy. There's a neighborhood kitty cat. He's uh, black and white, and he always meows at me every time he sees me, so I call him Mr. Mouth. Hey, Mr. Mouth, but I think he's focused because where he's staring at, I know there are a couple kitties that live, like, in the hay bale sale. So turn around. See, see, there's Mr. Mouth. Hey, buddy. What you doing? I think he's looking for his little other kitty friends. We're going to leave Mr. Mouth alone. Um, Doe is in love with Mr. Mouth. I don't know why. She really thinks he's just amazing. Yes, I know. There's the kitty. We're going to leave him alone. And now she's like, like, look at this. 
Okay, now she's decided that she that he's not going to come over and say hi. He laid down so she can she can leave him alone now. But like those hay bales that are right there, I've seen cats going in and out of there. So I'm pretty sure there's some kitty cats that are living in the hay bales. Um, and that's probably why Mr. Mouth is here. He's either a non-neutered male and he's waiting for his honey or he's just looking for a fight. Uh, it's one or the other. Come on, you. Come on. I gotta get the dog moving. Because, you know, she'll sit there all day watching him. She just, she's fascinated by him. Fascinated. She thinks he's, like, insanely interesting for some reason. Come on. And the funny thing is, is he's totally tolerant of her. Like, he, he like, she can walk right up to him and, like, stick her nose in his face and, like, try to pet him with her paw and all this stuff. And the cat's just kind of like, oh, boo, hiss, go away, kind of a thing. And I'm like, dude, really? Like, but when he's had enough, he's like, all right, I'm done. And he'll, like, take off. Um, so, yeah, I get it. Trust me, I get it. Uh, <laughs> you can only go do so much petting before you're like, you can I'm done. Thanks. I'm, yeah, yeah, we're good. We're good. Yeah. Um, anyway, that's a story for another day, children. <sighs> yeah, so, um, walking along, so tired. My brain is just absolute freaking mush today. Seriously, come on. No bunny rabbit, come on. <sighs> this dog, I tell ya. She's determined to hunt something today. Determined to hunt something down. No, no bunny rabbit, come on. We need to go home, baby girl. Um, but it is starting to get to the point where it's like cool in the morning and then it gets like super duper hot during the day. I'm going to have to start carrying water for her. Like when we go, excuse me, I want to go on our afternoon walks because she's not, she like, we couldn't even make it a full mile yesterday. She was like, I'm done. Cause you know, I mean, I would be too if I was forced to wear a fur coat, like over top of a regular coat all day every day in the bright sunshine yeah i think i'd probably be a little grumpy too um but she's being a good dog right now we're finally just cruising uh i think she wants to get home she knows that if we just go home she has her own kitty cats to play with come on and she can annoy the heck out of her little brother and sister and they will be super excited well, not really. Actually, I really think Addie likes to play with her. I think he likes to try to pretend fight. But, like, yeah. Shadow's kind of like the queen of the house. She's like, whatever, go away, dog. And the dog's like, oh, yes, ma'am. So sorry. Ever so sorry. Let me just back away. Yeah, it's hilarious. It's great. And then there's me. I'm just everybody's, like, little bitch. What do you need? Here, let me get you a treat. Let me get you another pillow. Do you need me to move? Do you need me to prop my knee up so you can sleep underneath it? Do you need me to move this? Do you need me to move that? What do you need? What do you need? What do you need? Oh, I cater to these animals way too much. Way too much. It's a good thing my son isn't home right now. I'd probably be smothering him. Smothering. Um, but yeah, so we are about to turn up the road to go home. Um, looking to see if the, the hare is out guarding his little harem. I don't see him though, so... They must feel pretty secure today. Come on. Um, oh, oh goodness. Sorry, she like desperately needs to sniff something. Desperately. Let's see if we can get her sniffing. No, ma'am. All right, I want you to see like how, yeah. Yeah, yeah, she's a strong dog. Yeah, all right, come on. All right, we're done sniffing now. Oh. <sighs> I mean, I, she wasn't even, she was barely pulling and I was still having to pull back like that. Like, she's a strong ass dog. Uh, yeah. <sighs> there you go. <sighs> so, um, I get to work yesterday and, uh, of course, Mr. Louisiana is there and he comes up to me and we're chatting for a little bit. He goes, by the way, left your present on your desk and I was like "Ooh, a present like what kind of present guys he bought me vitamins because he wants me to feel good and be healthy and 
He was just like, I just, he's like, everybody needs these. And I just, I, I was buying myself some and I totally thought that you could use some too. And you know, like if you don't like them, you don't have to take them. And I'm like, no, dude, I love it. Like it totally just shows that you're caring for me and thinking about me in a different way. I was like, it's, <laughs> it's like, that's really sweet actually. So, um, but I was supposed to take him back his t-shirt and take him in another t-shirt and I completely forgot both. They're both just sitting by the door. Just walked out and left them sitting there. Oops. So... I have to remember to put them in the car today, sometime before I actually go to work. So that way I can remember to take them in with me. We should be good. <gasps> we are almost home. Thank God. I'm so tired. So, um, <laughs> yeah. Anyway, sorry, my brain just thought of something and then it was like, no, we don't need to talk about that. But I'd already started kind of talking about it, and my brain just, just like, there's the disconnect. So, yeah, you guys get to see that. It's so much fun. My, <laughs> this is what happens. This is what happens when I get, like, way overly tired. Um, yeah, so we're getting home. I love this tree. It's, like, two different colors. It's spectacular. I don't know if you'll be able to see it behind me. But see, there's, like, that green, but in the back... There's like a lighter green. It's like super cute. So, um, oh, he moved his stuff. Oh, I think he moved it to give the kids more area to, to play. Um, the neighborhood kids, I mean, what else are they gonna do? Like, they're kind of stuck, right? But, like, a whole bunch of us just kind of let them play in our yards and stuff. They totally made a fort out of my trees, which is, I think, adorable. And uh, my neighbor here has this gorgeous cement you know, kind of pad, um, pad for his cars and stuff, and it's called a driveway. That's what it's called. See, I told you my brain is going to, it'll, it'll get there, it'll get there. Just give it a minute. Um, but he's got, like, chalk and stuff, and and they draw all over his his driveway, and it's, it's so adorable. They're so adorable. Like, for real, so adorable. Hey, come on. What is that? Okay, I don't know what's going on. We're just... We're, go we're going into the house, so that's what I'm going to say. And, um, which means I'm going to say goodbye, because like I said, as soon as I get in the house, I'm going to freaking bed, alright? So, yeah. What are you doing? Come on. It's time for bed. Sorry. I'm talking to the dog. Anyway, y'all have a good one. I, like I said, I'm, I'm in the house now. I'm going to... I'm definitely going to bed, because, yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. You guys can tell, right? Yeah. I can, if I can tell, y'all can tell. Anyway, have a great day. I'll catch up with you guys later after I've had some sleep. Awesome. Peace. Love you. Be good out there.